Hello, so in this video, I am going to uh, take you through the making of Space Invaders using Java. Uh, I made a part one to this a few years back, probably like three or four years back now. Um, and uh, I kind of purposely didn't finish it. I wanted to just kind of give you a start. But I've had a lot of people ask to for some help finishing up. So I am going to... Uh, do that in in this video tutorial um, so I'll first kind of just catch up what's going on um, and and you know just go over the structure for those who want to just have this video to watch um, and, and then uh, the completion which was really just the shot and the shooting of the aliens um, that I didn't complete before uh, so we'll go over that and I, I did add graphics before I just had like blocks for both the aliens and the players ship um, but uh, I now have um, some graphics and I'll, I'll share the, all this code in the graphics with you. Um, but let's, um, let's take a look then at, at how this works. And so this is the structure. Um, there's a character, space character, let's say, um, abstract class that um, allows you to, uh, that has a lot of um, kind of features that will be useful for your alien, your shot, and your ship which is you, the ship is you, the player. Um, you can track the X and Y coordinates, the uh, width and height of that particular character, um, the speed. Uh, there's, an like I said, an image now associated with it. And um, this is really mostly for the aliens, whether they are moving left or moving right, because that's a part of Space Invaders, right? They go across the screen back and forth. Um, and so, yeah, and the basic kind of constructor just sets their X and Y to zero. But then there's the, um, uh, the larger constructor that sets everything that you would want to set for this um, character, including uh, where the image is. And that's what I use here. Um, right here is uh, how you can kind of start uh, set an image for um, something in Java. All right. So... I'm just trying to see what else in here that's kind of new. That's really, really not too much. Um, you can set the position. Uh, you can set X, set Y, get X, get Y, set the width and height, um, get the width and height and get the speed and get the image. So, yeah, that's everything with the character abstract class. Um, and as I talked about in the last video, there's a alien has an is visible, which basically uh, is, is exactly what it says is that visible or not because um, you you have that whole um, bunch of aliens going uh, back and forth on the screen here right and so when you shoot one it should no longer be visible to the screen so uh, I'll kind of show you how we implement that um, that's the, uh, the big thing with that and you know if it's moving left you're going to um, su subtract subtract the speed from the x variable um, otherwise you add the speed to the x variable and then this is just for displaying the graphic nothing uh, too fancy there um, if you've worked with any kind of image displaying in uh, Java before you've seen that all right so um, yeah so the shot like we we, we really didn't build this um, up last time so I'll just kind of talk about this and um, there is a go up variable, which, uh, when you shoot, uh, pressing the space bar, the shot should go up the screen, um, originating from your ship. And, uh, you have, you can set all these things. There's a shot, um, dot PNG, which is really just a, a little rectangle that kind of moves up the screen. Um, and then we set the initial Y coordinates to 600 since that is uh, kind of the location of your ship. And the X coordinate is gonna kind of match where whatever the ship is moving back and forth. Um, yeah, otherwise, um, you know, when, the, when the Y coordinates gets to be less than zero, which means it goes off the screen, then we reset the Y back to the coordinates of, the, uh, of where we want it to originate from for when you shoot your next shot. Right? kind of makes sense if you are going up um, then we're subtracting from the uh, y coordinates uh, so again not nothing too fancy here um, yeah 
and that that's really uh, that's for the, um, the uh, your ship really that just moves with the ship. When you move left, when your ship moves left, the shot kind of just stays with it. So that's what's what's going on there. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, let's take a look. Where really the um, guts of this is is in this run graphics, um, which is basically uh, everything um, in here uh, is the the meat and bones of the game. And so yeah, we have our aliens. I have three rows of 10 aliens um you can make it whatever you see fit but that seemed right for the size of this game um let's see and so all that's happening here is um this is kind of um uh, setting the aliens giving each alien a coordinate on the screen and i'm kind of spacing them out uh by 35 pixels because the image i think is uh, 30 by 20. Um, as you see there um, let me see anything else worth noting in here no uh, and so all right so this is the the paint component which we really use to display display everything to the screen um, basically I set a background here um, I set some things in motion here like we start moving our alien um, you know uh, the this is um, the ship and so by default, it is not moving. So the move is zero. Same thing with our shot. Um, I draw the, the shot and the ship to the screen. Um, and then I do call the uh, hit detection, which that's an important addition since uh, the last video. So I will go over that in a little more detail. Um, but what's happening here is we are actually just displaying our aliens to the screen if the alien is visible then we, we draw it to the screen. Uh, so that's what's going on there. And all right, so let's take a look at the hit detection for a second here. So um, what's going on here is uh, we're going to go through and look at each alien and see if that alien is, uh, first of all, is it visible? Because if it's not visible, then we can stop right here. Um, because we don't have to worry about hitting uh, a alien that's already been hit. If it's invisible, then it's already been hit. Um, and so then we basically get our shots X, um, the width of our shot, and is that greater than our aliens X? Um, that's kind of a, the first coordinate that we need to look at. Um, and then we kind of do the same thing for um, the other side, right? We, we look to see if the um, if the I'm sorry didn't go over here so we look to see if uh, the shot X um, is less than our alien um, X plus the width so we look at both sides of our of our alien basically um, if I'm going back to to this scene so this is kind of the first boundary that we look and then we look to see so is it in between this left side and this right. So this is the alien X, this is the alien X plus its width. And then we, we basically do the same thing for the height, the alien's height, the alien's height plus its, plus its height. Um, alien's Y plus its height, I should say. Um, and so that's that's really what the, the rest of this is doing. Um, and so if it is, in, if all these things are true, um, then we have a hit and so we need to make that alien false um, and the one thing I didn't add to this is a scoring mechanism that would probably be updated in here if I did have a score. Um, that's easy enough, though, if someone wants to add that. And then um, basically what this does, it says, like, all right, you hit the alien. Now get rid of the shot, right? Um, if you can get rid of this, if you want your shot to be able to hit more than one alien at a, uh, at a time. But um, that doesn't seem fair. And so that um, basically brings the shot um and puts it off the top of the screen. Um, and so that's the end of the hit detection. Um, the move alien, you had already had that in the last video, but basically what this is doing is just, um, if the alien is supposed to be moving to the right, we basically move it to the right by adding um, the speed to the X uh, value. <clears throat> um, when, when it gets to one side or the other, we do need to um, 
switch directions. And so that's what's going on here. That's, you know, probably the trickiest part of this whole game is coming up with this algorithm. Um, and basically what you do is you have to de um, determine that you've gotten to the one side of the screen and make sure that um, you uh, change the, the speed for everyone that's going to be, you know, the direction with speed controls the direction. So the, the speed should now be negative if it was positive and vice versa. Um, so that's what's going on there. Um, yeah, and then this just determines whether um, if we are moving left or right, um, then we are going to, um, you know, uh, add to the, um, actually what this does is when we get to one side or the other, we do drop down. And so that's what's happening right here, dropping down 10 pixels. Um, we got our mouse press here, which I'm not really doing anything with that. But we are doing a lot with the key press. Here is um, if you press the space bar, um, then our shot it can go up. And um, so that's what, what happens there. Um, and there's, a, there's basically code um, that controls the shot um, that's in the draw that I showed you earlier that um, looks to see if, it, if this is true or not and will increment um, our shot's uh, Y variable. All right, so that's what's going on there. Um, when the uh, key is released, we can uh, <clears throat> stop moving. Basically, this stops our ship so that it doesn't just keep moving left and right. Um, and yeah, so this starts moving our ship, right? Um, I think that's pretty much everything. And then this is just the run method that kind of puts everything into motion. Um, all right, so let's just take a look at this in action. And so here it is going back and forth. And if I shoot, then I can move my guy and then I can shoot. Um, I am not going to be able to get all these aliens now. Um, so you could actually make this a rapid fire game by making shots in a ray. Maybe that's what I'll do in a future video because I am going to die here. Um, and I did not build in the, the part. So we have to, you should actually have it so that when the aliens get to a certain height, yeah, so I'm never going to be able, right now the game would be over once they, um, once the alien uh, exceeded 600 on the Y axis, you really should have a, a game over there. I didn't put that in yet. Um, but uh, that's easy enough to add as well. So I hope this is um, a nice addition um, um, to the part one of this video. Uh, let me know if, if you if, if people ask for um, seeing things like a score and uh, the game uh, like you you lose when the alien uh, gets to a certain location. Uh, that's easy enough to do. Uh, I could put a part three. Thanks.